What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt Deville with Counter Punch Boxing News, and I have some new news. Finally, concerning Joe Joyce, Zilly Zhang. This is the official fight prediction breakdown. Keys to victory and a partridge in a pear tree. Let's go. Listen, first of all, we have the tell of the tape. Okay, and Joe Joyce versus Zili Zhang. Joe Joyce, age 37. Zili Zhang, age 40. Okay, nicknamed the Juggernaut versus Big Bang Zhang. Okay, <clears throat> height six feet six inches for Joe Joyce. Zili Zhang, six feet six inches for Zhang. They are labeled or billed at the same height. I think Zili Zhang is maybe a half an inch taller than him based on. Um, the latest videos are, are footage that we've seen them with, but they're neck and neck, they're eye to eye, okay? Now we have the reach, 80 inches to 80 inches, equal, okay? Weight, heavy weights. So they'll come in at different weights. I think um, Joe Joyce came in at like 240 last time, which was uh, really small for him compared to the weight that he came in at with Joe Parker, okay? Joseph Parker, he was 270, so he dropped 30 pounds, all right? Now, the trainer Ishmael Salas for um, Joe Joyce, which is Sean George's, is the trainer for Zili Zhang. The record is 15, with that one loss to Zili Zhang, 14 KOs from Joe Joyce. Zili Zhang is 25-1-1 and 20 KOs, okay? So, that loss is to Philip Hergovic and also that draws to Jerry Forrest, okay? It was a majority draw. And the titles for Joe Joyce is the WBO Interim Championship, which now is held by Zili Zhang, okay? So he's the farmer and he's there to get it back. That's why he, of course, is uh, activating his rematch and that's why they're fighting again. The last fight, Zili Zhang, the last fight uh, for uh, Zili Zhang was Joe Joyce, okay? 23 fights uh, for Joe Joyce in April. It was um, 27 fights for uh, Big Bang. All right. So, um, correction, it's 16 fights for Joe Joyce and 27 fights for Zili Zhang. They got it wrong on this caption. Now, let me break down the keys of victory. Keys of victory for Joe Joyce. Joe Joyce should move his head easy. He has to get off the center line because here's the deal. If you want something that you never had, you have to do something that you never done. Okay. Zili Zhang has done something that Joe Joyce has never seen. Since that's the case, he has to apply what I said before. He has to do something that he's never done. He has to move his head. He can't take shots like Rock'em Sock'em Robot. He just can't do that because the last fight taught us all this. Joe Joyce is not the Terminator. He may be the juggernaut, but he will get stopped due to other circumstances. Now, was he rocked? Sure, he was rocked. But to be fair, Daniel Dubois was able to knock around Joe Joyce for a while, you know, when he landed his heavy shot. So that really doesn't, that didn't surprise me as much. What surprised me was the, uh, the skin holdup, you know, or the lack of from Joe Joyce. It was not there. So it just shows you the impact of these punches coming from Zili Zhang, okay? And Zili Zhang was able to bang. <laughs> Bars. So I think if anything, Joe Joyce needs to get his head off the center line and he needs to continue uh, a rhythm of not staying there and just throwing those shots or those, those jabs that looks like they can barely break wind, Okay. He has to come with the body work. And I think most importantly, he needs for the first six rounds of this fight, survive. Because Zili Zhang, based on what he's already said about uh, Joe Joyce, he's going to try to end the night quicker. He has the momentum. He believes that he can do it because he's already uh, done it. Seeing is believing with the millions and a lot of people. Okay? Show me state. Half my family right here, okay? But understand this as well. Zili Zhang, since he's going to come out with that determination, with that focus, with that uh, um, game plan to come out there and attack Joe Joyce because Joe Joyce, uh, to him, 
doesn't have the defense, I think Joe Joyce should show him that he does have defense. I think he should frustrate him. Maybe wrap him up some if those punches come too rapidly. Because let's face it, Zili Zhang has faster hands than Joe Joyce. And he hits just as hard, or the should I say, the punches affect Joe Joyce just as much as Joe Joyce punches affect other fighters. Okay? Now, what would that do for him? Well, it would buy him time. He needs to buy all the time he needs, Joe Joyce does. Because we're working and dealing with a guy that's 40 years old. Okay, he was the same age as Luis Ortiz when he fought Wilder the first time. So what does that mean? Well, your fluids, your testosterone, your energy, and everything are really compromised the older you get. Unless you're some type of freak of nature, and I don't think Zili Zhang is it. Bars. Okay? So I don't think that's the case with Zili. We've seen him gas out against guys like Philip Hergovic after hurting Hergovic. Just Hergovic didn't get busted up like Joe because he was able to use those legs because he was faster and he was he knew, let me get the hell away from these punches, okay? Let me take a walk around the block a few times, reset and allow this man to disperse some energy because he's beating me up here, which Joe Joyce couldn't learn that. Now, the question is, can Joe Joyce learn that? That's the million dollar question. And if he can, he has a better uh Better way to win. But one thing stuck out at me is the chin of Zhang. Yes, the stamina is limited. I think everybody's stamina is limited to a certain degree, depending on what you're able to do based on what you're doing. However, that chin, that durability that Zili Zhang has, I think the confidence comes from the fact that he knows he can take Joe Joyce's best punch. Okay, so we have to take that into account. We have to take that into account because what happens with Joe Joyce? He starts hitting people, and then when he starts hitting you, and then he keeps hitting you, and then he keeps hitting you, those punches start to add up. And he's not an Adam Kalnaki. I think he punches a little harder than Adam, but Adam has the same effect, or he did anyway. He used to, uh, uh, by accumulation, he gets these guys out of here. He doesn't just hurt you with one shot. It's the accumulation of these shots. You know, let's say a guy can hit with 100% power versus a guy that can hit with 27% power. But get this, would you rather take one shot from the guy at 100%, which you probably wouldn't, or take eight shots from someone that punches at 27%? That may be what we're dealing with. I think with Joe Joyce is a little bit about like 40 feet because he's a thudding shotter. He's a, he's a chopping puncher. So a lot of these punches land, they're landing they're landing rugged and reckless and, 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 and very, you know, indirect, okay? The punch placement is not that great, but he's still inflicting damage upon you, okay? So Zili Zhang was able to take that. But what happens when the stamina leaves? See, fatigue makes cowards of men. When your stamina ends, the only thing you have is instinct uh, grit, determination, punching power, and guess what? Durability. But fatigue makes cowards of men because when you're tired, you don't give a shit on how hard anything is. You're tired. It doesn't matter if it's this punch or that punch, you know? And Joe Joyce can punch because I've seen Joe land shots against Zili Zhang in that, in, that, in that fight, and it made you like, whoa, wait a minute. But Zili Zhang took it like a pro, but he just didn't throw enough of them. So if, Z, if Joe Joyce can get to a point past the sixth round and excel from there and start breaking Zili Zhang down and at the same time still constantly keeping his head off the center line because that's not also affecting uh, uh, Joe Joyce's eye. It's also affecting who? The crowd. And the crowd is also affecting what? The judges. Okay, so yes, it'll help you win the fight stylistically when you show that you have defense, in other words, people. So I think Joe Joyce, if he can get past the sixth round without his eye looking like it did last time, without Zili Zhang putting those combinations together with that hard, heavy-ass right hook and that sharp left uh, uh, cross, he may have a chance to win. But again, I did this because 
when I seen Zhang Lan, it was like right on the money because Joe Joyce had no answer for it. And it did make me question like, okay, uh, Ishmael, ¿qué hace? <laughs> ¿Qué hace con tu luchador? Right? What the hell? What are you doing with your fighter? So, we will see. Um, Joe Joyce knows that he has to do this. He knows that a lot is on the line. He knows that his opportunity at age 37 won't be realistically there if he can't beat Zili Zhang. So I think we're going to see also a heavier Joe Joyce. That's a factor because Joe Joyce was a lot heavier. So his punches may be a little heavier. He may have the Andy Ruiz effect when it comes to losing weight and then losing momentum and then losing punching power because your foundation uh, is not the same because you don't have as as good of a foundation because you're lighter. So if you're lighter and you you know you sit down and your punches, your punches won't in, impact the way they used to if you were bigger. I think that's Joshua's mental hang up of him how he needs to get muscles because he feels the bigger he is, the stronger he is, the stronger he is, the more effective he is. And that may be the real case with Joe Joyce. Okay, so uh, but Zili Zhang, I think the keys of victory for Zhang, though, is to keep doing exactly what he did. Keep being first. Keep punching when you can. I mean, you are, you are, you are dealing with a guy, Joe Joyce, that is very, very, he's slow. Let's put it that way. Not very, very, he's slow. Okay, we all know he's slow. Zili Zhang has the speed advantage. Okay, so if we know he has the speed advantage, he has to keep doing what he did, you know, come in and box him. Don't get cocky because when you start getting cocky, you may get hit. But see, Zhang is a very durable force for about seven rounds, maybe six. And in those six, it depends on how much he throws in those six rounds. Okay, so if he does a lot of, he disperses a lot of energy. If he throws a lot of punches, he may he may be able to tire out. But if he can take out Joe Joyce, and if he can continue throwing these big shots with Joe, he may be able to be the first person not only to beat Joe Joyce, because he's already done that, but to stop Joe Joyce or to knock Joe Joyce out, which I think will be a hell of a task. But I do think he needs to do exactly what he's been doing. And maybe he needs to come in loud, lighter. But I think him being heavier, you know, was very effective for him. So that may not be the case. OK, I'm just speculating because I'm trying to give him some type of way to save power. His keys of victory is for him to preserve his stamina. He's already a better boxer. You know, now can Joe Joyce change over this time? You know, Probably not, because I think a guy like Joe Joyce he may be the same as a guy like a Turo Gotti, a guy like Errol Spence. Those type of guys don't they when once they get hit, they're going right back to the same style. So if that happens, Joe Joyce is probably as good as mincemeat. But guess what? Who do I pick to win this fight? I pick Joe Joyce. Why? I think more is riding on Joe Joyce. I think Joe Joyce knows that he has to make an impact. And I think he knows what he's up against now versus before. I don't think he knew, but he does have an idea. And I don't see uh, Joe uh, coming in timid, but I see him coming in cautious. Whereas Zili Zhang will probably come in overconfident. Since he's overconfident, he will shoot and disperse and throw more punches and make him tired. Once he starts getting tired, Joe Joyce then has a better opportunity to break him down like he does with everyone else and that's how it's going to have to be if you, if we have joe joyce beating zili zhang he's going to have to break zili zhang down and stop zili zhang and with this added weight upon him and i think i think joe joyce is able to carry that weight and i think his punches will be heavier and i think they will make a bigger impact on zili zhang and then zhang will get tired and on top of being hit harder because you're in there with a heavier guy he's going to say dang what's up with this said big bang <laughs> these punches are really hitting me and hurting me then i think that will be the the story of the fight 
Joe Joyce will come in heavier. I think he will come in more focused on with a southpaw, and I think he will hit harder. And I think he always has the stamina. And yes, he has the chin. But I think he will be cautious because he knows that Zili Zhang can punch as well. So I think he will be more cautious, making him more defensive. But at the same time, when he lands, I think that's going to be the hook, line, and sinker. Okay? So I think, and I got Joe Joyce beating Zili Zhang by KO in round 11. Okay? That's if. <laughs> Bolt. That's if. Uh, Zhang doesn't get him out early, okay, like he did last time because the fight could easily happen and he knows how to do what he already done before and if the if the changes aren't made and the adjustments are not made, the same thing will happen again. But anyway, you guys tell me what you think about this thorough breakdown between Joe Joyce and Zile Zhang. Of course, please subscribe and you guys been Counterpunch. Peace!